All right. Good evening, everybody. It is 7 p.m. Shibden time. I've already moved on to some gin and it's our first group activity of the summit. So I hope you've all had a fun afternoon so far. Just a reminder that we are recording the session and that captions are available. We do want this to be really interactive, but if you could keep yourself muted whilst I talk you through the instructions, that would be fantastic. So, six word story. You may have heard of these before. You may have heard of some of the more famous ones. And now we're setting you the challenge of telling Anne Lister's story in just six words. So what is a six word story? It's an entire story told in just six words. It's used to convey emotion and it should really still have a beginning, middle and end. It should have conflict, a subject and a verb to give it action and a sense of resolution too. It's a teaser of a longer story that you're encouraging readers to fill in the blanks. Anne Lister's journals, they're estimated to total more than 5 million words across 7,720 pages, not including her vast archive of letters. So as I've said, we're setting you the challenge of condensing that down into just six words, while still conveying the emotion and the sense of adventure seen throughout her writing. So your challenge is to write your own six word story or stories if you're feeling creative and that could be about Anne or somebody or something else in her orbit. It could be really generic. It could focus on something really specific like an event, a relationship or a time period. We're gonna come on to a list of prompts if you need some inspiration, but feel free to come up with your own. And the Summit Squad have spent some time coming up with some examples just to give you a taster of the kind of thing that we're looking for. Oh no, where's the soup plate? Dry as a stick, still hit it. Dissected a heart, wanted a baby. She died as she lived, unapologetically. Happily ever after, when Charles dies. I'm sure some of us can guess who might have come up with that one. No goats at the castle, disappointed. She visits me in the asylum. Go on, fearlessly do your duty. So there's some examples that we've come up with. Hopefully that gives you an idea. And here's some prompts that we've also come up with. So we've got celebration, society, kiss, letter, mountains, weather, and wedding. You don't have to use these, feel free to use your own if, if, if you need um, some inspiration. If you're not already familiar with the PAP Potential website, you might want to use some of the resources on there as inspiration if you're not yet familiar with an Lister um, as some of us are. This might be your first summit. Um, so there's lots of um, resources on there and we'll pop that link in the chat for you. So what are we gonna do with all these six word stories? Well, in a later session, we're going to be creating our own summit zine. And we're going to ask you to use the hashtag, hashtag Anlister Summit 6WS. And you can use that on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter to share your visual six word stories for inclusion in this year's summit zine. So you might want to get creative with it, or you might just want to tweet us. You could also, if you're not on social media, send it to us via email at anne.lister.research at gmail.com. So it's currently four minutes past seven. We've got in the region of 20 minutes and let's have fun with it. Feel free to share in the chat as you come up with your stories and we might invite some people to um, share and mute themselves um, if they uh, come up with a really good one. We're gonna wrap up around 6.25 ish um, just to give us a chance to get into the next um, session um, but 
have fun with it. And um, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. And I'll take you back to those prompts if you need them. Chantelle, do you want to share yours with everybody? Uh, oh, the one I just added? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, this was inspired by um, the tweet from the, was it the Ann Lister timeline the other day about Ann Lister using the candle while she was spending some quality time with Tim. And so my six word story is used a candle, stoked her flame. Super, that's a good one. How about you, Marlene? Which one? <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> so, well, the, the two I put in the chat have a funny story behind it, which I will not share. But um, I have Miss Walker is desperately vulgar, avoid. <laughs> Uh, which is inspired from a uh, journal entry from 1822 and I reused recently in something else. And then I have the shark that way through France. Awesome. So it's basically the summer of 1834. Uh, ah, that's the honeymoon. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. How about, go on, Jane. All righty. Well, uh, first of all, all of these words are in the Ann Lister Dictionary on my Must take a little website. plug there. <laughs> pa yeah, packed with potential. Check it out. Here it is. Agreeableize, venerialize, Parisianize, anatomize, epistolize, companionize. Phenomenal. There you go. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing that in visual form in the summit zine. What do we mean by visual form? It has to have illustrations? Yeah, anything you want. Illustrations, just nice sort of graphic, anything at all, Jane. I How see. About, okay. um, Audra, do you want to unmute yourself and share yours? How about you, Natalie? That's a good one. I think Chantelle might like that one. Um, I think Chantelle would tell the story a bit better than I would. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I just uh, thought, yeah, why not? The more better comes, the merrier. And Anne definitely had her share of yeah. a few. So, <laughs> so what's your story? Um, I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm also in the kitchen cutting brussels sprouts at the That's, moment sorry so. i'll read it out for you uh it's one two more belcoms would do oh that's what you meant i'm so sorry that's okay <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah there's uh there's definitely some x-rated ones some call outs for the fanfic writers amongst us Lots of talk of candles. Uh, Kay, that's a lovely one. Do you want to share that one? Yep, sure. It is. Which one is it? Hang on. It is loving, living, learning. I am right. Fabulous. And um, what's the story that you're trying to tell with that one? That's her life. Yeah. Loving, living, learning. Yeah. And she was right. Always. <laughs> Always right. Never wrong, Aram, was she? Absolutely. <laughs> and how about, thanks, Kay. How about um, Laurie? I appreciate I some people know. might not want to come off mute, but uh, it's okay. If well, not. Actually... Laurie, are you there, Laurie? Fantastic. Yeah. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Go on, go for it. Oh, I said a uh, social climber, mountain climber, lady climber. Yeah, excellent. Another really good <laughs> six word story to describe, Anna, I think. Is, is that what you were intending with that one? Oh, yeah. Just like yeah. the first thing that popped into my head. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it looks like Audra doesn't have a microphone. So I'm just going to go back and it says, must have an attractively marbled fly leaf. 
which is a lovely one inspired by journals and books. Let's have a look. Um, Suzanne, do you want to share yours? Which cheeky one? plug. Well, either cheeky plug for your session that's coming up. Um, okay, uh, the, the first uh, is um, I met Monsieur Julien, wanted a baby. I guess yeah. it's such a wonderful double meaning. Mm. Um, what else did I wrote? Um, that's but that's more shipped and shot the gun, burned the hall. Um, what else was there? Ah, it's the it's two. Uh, the two six word story. She left Shipton, went to Paris, was in Paris, moved to Shipton. Yeah. And am I right in thinking we've got your, your session on Paris coming up? Is it tomorrow? It's tomorrow, yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> Excellent. These are fantastic. You're all clearly feeling very creative. Pa Patty, John's come, John's. Share yours. I like that one. That's a good one. <laughs> Just okay. Oh, yeah, a, sh a shed for a shag, chamier. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, that that very much, it literally does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Fabulous. I'm really looking forward to seeing these in the zine. These are brilliant. Um, Janneke? Well, to just stick with the uh, travel theme that we'll uh, be talking about tomorrow morning, another little, you know, heads up. Um, nothing ever compares to York Minster. And um, for those of us not necessarily familiar with that and the, how it links to the travels, do you want to just expand on that a little bit? What's the story you're telling there? Well, basically, it seems a little bit like Anne went all over Europe and travelled everywhere. And wherever she went, she would visit churches and, um, you know, cathedrals and, and, and religious buildings. And, well, none of them ever seemed to be good enough compared to York Minster. I mean, again, she she wasn't wrong. It's a pretty pretty impressive building. It is an impressive building, yes. But well, I think there's more of those around. No, but it, yeah, it is an impressive building. That's true. Yeah. Thank you very much, Alex. Go on. Um. Yeah, I've got two. The one is my cousin visit. Not that one. And then I also have one inspired by the sartorial packer, which is um, beaver hats make my head ache. Because apparently Anne wore a beaver hat that was too small and it made her head sore. Excellent. Do you want to just explain the cousin one, just in case people aren't familiar? Yeah, so, yeah, so Anne, well, I have to say, I'm not the Anne Lister expert in the family, but I am reliably informed that Anne Lister used uh, the, uh, her cousin as a code word for her mental title. Um, so I can only imagine what that means she felt about her actual presence. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Chantel, you're on fire with some of these. Feel free to dive in and share any more. Got a few here. I'll read a few out. We've got off to bed. What's the temperature? That's a really good one, Yannicka. That's... Uh, yeah, if you're not yet familiar with the journals and um, was pretty kind of almost every day, I think over a, a number of number of years, um, recorded the temperature um, multiple times a day in some cases, but always before she went to bed. And Jane again, there's a common theme here. The words vulgar are cropping up a lot and nail cutting. Uh, I, I have uh, grubbled her well, cut my nails. <laughs> and Jane, I mean, you've read so much of the journals. In that order, Jane. 
great. In that I, order. I, 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 I mean, you know, it's a, it's a direct quote. <laughs> oh. yeah. so and Lister has written her own six word story. And, um, and Jane, a lot of people expect that um, the things in um, code are often always kind of about sex and things like that. But am I right in thinking that also cut my nails is often oh, in yeah. code too? Absolutely. Yeah. Anything having to do with personal hygiene. So, you know, the size, shape, color, and description of her poo-poo uh, is a thing you'll find in, uh, in code. Anything about fingernails, toenails, teeth, um, hair, uh, all that. Typically, she saves all that stuff for code. Yes. And then, yeah. you know, everything from A to Z no. in the sexual category and then some. Yep. If there were letters beyond A to Z, we'd have those two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fabulous. Um, and... Uh, I guess uh, many of the volunteers who transcribe the journals uh, know the uh, the anticipation of getting a page and seeing that it's full of code and thinking this is going to be good. And yeah, getting lots of bowels, lots of nail cutting <laughs> and the yeah. disappointment almost in, uh, yeah. in that. Exactly. I, but although even now, I, I, you know, when I get a page with no code on it at all, I I'm disappointed, even if it's going to be things I can't unread once I do, you know, yeah. read that. Uh, you just, Absolutely. there's something about the code you just want to read, you want to see that, you know, it's like yeah. the puzzle solving nature of it is fun. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's have a look. We've just got a, a few minutes left to, to kind of, for your six word stories in this session. Although feel free to share them um, over the course of the, the weekend um, for inclusion in the summit zine. Um, let's see if we've got any extra. Yeah, where do they go, Jess? If where do where do you want them submitted and through what uh, medium? I'll tell you what I'll do. I will pop that. There we go. So oh. whether you um, are on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, um, you can use the hashtag. The only reason we ask you to use the hashtag is because we can find them much more easily um, okay. using that. Um, and if you're not on social media, um, you can use the email address to submit okay. them to. And then our, our wonderful Summit Squad extraordinaire, um, Steph, is going to collate them all for us as part of the Summit zine, which means if you can make it, I think tomorrow, I'm hoping that somebody um, that's got the schedule open can, can remind me what time it is. Um, but we've got the Zines 101 session where we're going to talk you through what a zine is, and we're going to get you doing some more activities to contribute to that. You don't have a, an example of one that's presented in a visual form, do you? No, we don't. But that's it's, it. I mean, just just something like this, where it's kind of like just text is absolutely fine. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Just a picture of uh, yeah. Chantel's uh, cake. That would be a yeah. pretty good accompaniment. So you might have right. something that we've already done as part of that with potential um, to illustrate your six word story, which would be wonderful. And I saw earlier on that um, somebody mentioned about like fan art for some of these. So you never know. We might inspire some of our artists in the uh, in the group and on uh, in the fandom to uh, to, to do some extra uh, artwork, perhaps. OK, I'm going to go for one more uh, zines is 4 30 shibden time tomorrow um, i'm not great with time zones so i'm hoping that uh, you'll be able to figure that out for wherever you are in the world well, 11 30 eastern i think perfect i knew you'd know jane thank you five hours earlier i do believe super okay right i'm gonna look at the Ah, yes, your event page will have the right time zone um, if you're not sure. Um, fabulous. These really are fantastic. A creative bunch. <laughs> Crapped on plate. Very fine day. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> 
Ah, classic, a classic, quite a popular uh, entry <laughs> incurred across on the bedpost. Now, I'm pretty sure we've already got fan art uh, doing the rounds for that one in particular. Um, so I'm sure that we can uh, maybe get hold of that for the zine with some accompanying fan art. Oh, Patty, <laughs> and Kurt across on the bedpost. These are awesome. Yeah, and Patty again, sermon 40 minutes, slept for 20, kind of been a very good one. That's super. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is definitely the uh, calming us down and uh, the bit of fun and games. It's uh, not quite oh, Alex, academic yeah, research. Alex, with the Times, <laughs> Alex posted the Times and I thought it was a six word story. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> These are so funny. These are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So we've just got a few minutes left. Um, Patty's, uh, Patty's just getting going. We shouldn't mm -hmm. ever end. I mean, like sermon 40 minutes, slept for 20. <laughs> Super duper. Gave Ainsworth a spank, well, gave Ainsworth spanking, not that kind. Whoa. <laughs> Alex, spot on. We've got one just for the summit. Went to research summit, very vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> which I hope Anne herself wouldn't describe us as vulgar, but maybe. <laughs> she, she would She would comment that it's the most vulgar thing she's ever read, and then she wanted to finish the rest of it. Yeah, definitely. Like it's the worst thing she's ever read. Now let me finish it. Absolutely. So I've just moved on to the final slide as we start to, to begin to think about wrapping us up because what I don't want to do is prevent you from getting into the next session which is Lister Moves um, which we know is going to be a popular one and um, we've also got a lovely quote from Anne herself to leave you with but these have been absolutely fantastic I mean we we had high expectations we did as a as a squad when we put this session together and you have not disappointed I'm really glad you've enjoyed it Right, we'll leave it with, leave Anne to have the final word as always. I am not a person of many words, especially written ones, but regard does not live by words alone and you will not estimate its vitality by so unjust a measure. On Valentine's Day, not that that was a thing back then, in 1823. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing all of your entries into the zine. We're going to let you go now for those that want to dial in to Lister Moves and hopefully we'll see you again at some point over the weekend. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Jane. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.